This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap, and joining me as always, from Down Under, it's Jared Morgan. Mm, hey there, everyone. How you going? So we were uh, asked to do a little thing here of why we love pinball and what our top five machines would be. However, seeing as how we predominantly talk about digital pinball, we decided we're going to change things up, and it's just going to be what are our top five digital machines that we would recommend to people. Uh, yeah. But before we get into that, it's more about why is it about digital pinball that we love so much. Um, and I think for myself, it kind of falls into the category of digital pinball is the great, great equalizer. Uh, it's available to mm. anyone, anywhere, at any time, and it's all the machines that you could want um, that are, are out there. You don't have to worry about going to a location and the machine being broken or them not having the machine that you want um, or you know trying to track down the, the Uber version as opposed to the base model version. It's there for the taking right there. Uh, you know, Pay your money, download it. It's yours to play as much as you want. So for me, that's kind of why I'd love digital pinball. Jared, how about you? Yeah, well, look, for me, pinball itself whether you're playing it in a in a pub or whether you're playing it digitally it's all about bringing people together around a, a central focus right so for for me like you know when i'm playing digital pinball i'm talking to people on stream about it when they drop in and say good day um or it could be on places like you know pinball effects discord or digital pinball fans uh, um, the forums out there it's about people celebrating the hobby that we love um, and digital pinball, because it's more accessible to people, you don't have to pay thousands of dollars to get a machine. That means more people can enjoy it as well. And I think that's the thing that makes digital pinball really great for me. It opens up, as Chris was saying, accessibility of pinball to more people. Absolutely. So with that in mind, let's dive into what our uh, top five machines that we would recommend to anybody trying to get into digital build and pinball, what they should uh, mm. pay attention to. And uh, we're going to start off with Jared. Uh, Jared didn't go in any particular order, but mine are. And uh, so take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> Here we go. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't settle them into an order. It was just too hard. <laughs> so for Jared, he has selected Medieval Madness in Zen's pinball effects platform. Real quickly, Jared, uh, Medieval Madness, why? Oh, this is just like, it's a fan layout. It's fun to shoot. Uh, the call outs are humorous. Um, the flow on the table is amazing. It's got uh, easy, It's you walk up to the table, you can understand exactly what's going on in it. Like it's so easy to get, but it's also deep as well. Like you've got to know how to stack things to really get good points in it. So and best it's of easy all, to learn, hard to master. It's never broken. <laughs> it's never broken. This one, you know, there's never stuff broken. that does go wrong with it. Um, if you find one in, in uh, the arcade. It's got to have really strong flippers for it to be enjoyable, um, which a lot yep. of them don't have on location. So this is the way to play it for sure. All right. My number five pick is Son of Zeus. So this is a Zen original. Um, this, to me, encapsulates what digital pinball is in terms of, uh, I mean, just look at that. There are no border walls. Um, it's it got... looks so good, this table. It's got crazy atmospheric effects, um, but it's got a sunken play field. It's got a spinner. It's got an animated volcano at the top, an animated snake, um, a really good rule set. Um, just tons of fun. If you're ever wanting to uh, wonder what it is about digital pinball that makes that you just plain could never do in an actual machine, this one I think encapsulates this so much it. of it. Yeah, mm, absolutely. All right, let's move on to Jared's number four. Yeah, that's one. It's a new one. Vengeance. Yeah, that's right. This is a new one to Pinball Effects, and it is. It it reminds me a little bit of the Champion Pub, um, by uh, Williams or Belly. I forget which one. One of those two. Um, it's got a fairly similar sort of aesthetic to it. You can even see the uh, the curved jump ramps at the top of the upper play field. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's got really lovely art, amazing theme integration. Um, it's the, the shots are fun in it. They're easy to make, uh, except maybe for the scabbard, which is in the little mini playful flip. I always yes. have so much trouble with it, but it's just, it, it makes you want to come back for just one more game. Even if you're getting your butt handed to you by it, like you want to play it again. 
Um, really great table. Um, definitely check it out. All right, my number four is the Clone Wars. I I felt like I needed to pick one Star Wars table from uh, Zen, and this happens to be the one that I tend to go to. It's got a crazy amount of shot selection. Uh, when you do your modes, um, it's not always shoot the same ramp over and over again. There's different combinations and orders that you need to shoot it in. Um, it's got a great little mini play field that, uh, mode that you have to go into. Um, you know, throw on the top of that the Star Wars music. Um, I don't know. There's something about this particular table that uh, I really think is fantastic. Uh, I'll say shout out to the Force Awakens table also, but this one wound up ultimately winning um, it just goes to show what a strong IP can be and how it can be used. Yeah, I've forgotten about this table. You know, I need to actually go and check this out again. Yeah. It is good. It really is good. Uh, all right, moving on to Jared's number three. Oh, World Cup soccer! Like, so if I ever see one of these in an arcade for real, it gets a dollar because <laughs> it is. And if I can hear the music, most importantly, because this is. The thing about this game by far i think out of any of this era of uh belly williams table this has the best soundtrack to it and the theme integration with the whole spinning soccer ball and just the whole theme of fifa running through this it is just really really fun the the game is easy right you shoot the goal you start a tv mode you shoot the ramps and the different um uh uh sort of the things in that five little at the five lights in the soccer ball, you meet all those, you start multi-ball in the final draw. It, it's just so easy to pick up and fun to play. It's and whenever I've seen one of these in the wild, it's, it usually has one of the dirtiest play fields ever. So, Because <laughs> people oh. love this table out. And it's not common to find anymore on location. No. I only know one place in Brisbane that has this, and it's in a semi-closed collection. So it's so great again, this to be able to play in, this digitally. Uh... Zen's Pinball Effects. Most of what we're talking about today is in Zen's Pinball Effects. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's just a really, really exceptional uh, recreation. All right, yep. going on to my next one. Hey, look at that, Jared. I themed it appropriately. I, it's a soccer theme. It's a soccer theme. This <laughs> is Super League uh, Pinball, um, or Super League Football, I should say. This is in Zen's Pinball Effects 2. Um, we are... Told that it's supposed to be coming to Pinball Effects. I really hope it does, because this mm. thing is heaps of fun. It's a bit of a grind, but it, to me, it's like playing an actual sports game. It, like, I forget that I'm playing pinball, and it all becomes about the match and trying to win the match. Um, it's just a wonderful integration, uh, wonderful shot selections, um, great hurry-ups, uh, great ways of saving the, the ball, um, just a really fun layout. I can't recommend it enough, and hopefully I can start recommending it even more once it comes to pinball effects. Cause oh, yeah. Right now, uh, good luck buying it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. yeah. It's a great table, this one. Yeah. All right, moving on to Jared's number two. Okay, World War Z or Z, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, yeah. This table is another one that is easy to learn, hard to master. There's some modes in here like uh, that you will get a lot of points on. Uh, the The upper play field is is a bit novel. It's uh, it doesn't work like normal upper play fields do. So that's a bit of a, a learning curve as well with this one. But it just there's something about shooting this one to me that actually is just a lot of fun. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really fun table. Moving on to my number two, Fear itself from Marvel. Uh, this thing is, I feel like it's the best of the Marvel tables that Zen has produced. Um, it's again the modes are all wildly different uh, for what you're being tasked to do. It's got a really novel magnet setup with where the ball can uh, actually circle on the underside. I guess some of you might think of it as like what NASCAR does. Um, yeah, that's but, right. It's uh, totally NASCAR. Yeah, um, but no less fun all the same. <laughs> um, it's great, yeah. And it's just really good uh, theme integration, good storytelling on this table. So um, I always recommend that this is uh, one that gets a play. 
All right, let's move on to Jared's number one, and it's the first of our tables that isn't produced by Zen. That's right. So this is uh, Xeno Tilt. Uh, this is a um, the second in a series of tables from uh, a developer called Winds of War. Um, and the first one was Demon's Tilt. This one is a sci-fi themed um, sort of vertical scrolling table. Um, and this one gets a nod because if you have a VR headset as well, um, you can basically easily access the, the Tate mode. Some people call it Tate, but it's actually Tate. Um, and you can flip this thing into vertical orientation and it completely changes the way this game plays. You can see all the detail really, really well. Um, it is wild. It's like a shoot 'em up and a pinball game all in one. Uh, if you haven't checked this out, you've got to go and check it out. It's a novel twist on pinball, and it's so much fun to play. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've only ever checked out Demon's Tilt, and it, it's, it is a complete... You have to rethink what you think about pinball in order to play these. Yeah, um, so you really do. It's which great. is a good thing. It's good to see uh, new things. Uh, my number one, speaking of Xenos, here's some Xenomorphs in the shape of aliens. <laughs> Oh yes, this. Table. This also has. Uh, this is from FX3. It has not made its way into Pinball FX yet. Um, this is hands down my favorite table that Zen has ever made. Um, this thing could be produced and put into an actual physical machine with very few modifications. Um, it is a just a phenomenal table. Uh, has great sound callouts. It's all the uh, voice clips from the movie, including Sigourney Weaver. Um, you can play this in film order about the events, or you can play it completely out of order. Um, it's great horror theming, great atmosphere. Uh, cannot recommend this table enough. It's to this, me perfection. Oh, this has got to come to FX, please. It's this is a. I really agree. This is like as far as the integration goes with theme, Zen nailed it with this one. It is yeah. very very good. So there you go. There's our uh, top five machines that we think that uh, if you're getting into digital pinball, specifically Zen, because um, nine out of those ten were from Zen, um, that's what we'd recommend. Uh, but uh, don't sleep on Xenotilt or Demon's Tilt. And for that matter, check out Zachary of Pinball from Magic Pixel. They've got a buttload of tables over there. Um, it's a completely different style of play, but equally interesting to, uh, to mess around with. Um, and yep. we are always on the lookout for uh, the next uh, digital pinball that's coming out there. So, anyway, that's why we love digital yeah, pinball. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you all enjoyed that. It was great. Thanks again for uh, Colin uh, from Kinesis for inviting us along to be a part of this. Um, yeah, keep on flipping, folks. All right. Bye now. <laughs>